What's going on, Reef Fam? Fragbox TV, March here. This is gonna be one of the last episodes on setting up our reef tank. This is a almost empty coral bed that's gonna get filled with some fresh new corals this afternoon. This is Matt, one of our sales associate, eating lunch. This is my display tank that a hammer has recently died in, and I'm not sure why, but I can touch on that in another video. This is my bulldog named Diggs over here. And this is Fragbox, my store here in Toronto, local fish store. Anyways, that's my sidetrack for the day. Had to get that out of the way. This is our new, what is it? Our cleanup crew system. And I've almost, almost done building it. It's been a long week, but it's just about there. It's looking pretty sleek in my opinion, not to toot my own horn. I think it's one of the nicer kind of systems that I've built. I really tried to think this one out because I have a tendency to rush into things without thinking and then end up ripping it down and doing it all over again. But I don't think that's gonna be the case with this one. It's looking really good. It's all plumbed in. If you saw the last episode, it was still off the wall and kind of messy in here, but I can show you the drains are now done. So I went from hard plumbing and then I go into soft plumbing whenever I got a pass through floor, uh, just a lot easier. And then over on this side, we have our returns. So I'm just gonna cover all of this up with a piece of plexi here in the front so that you don't see it. And then here along the side to hide all the finishing pieces of wood. So what I'm working on today is the lighting. So I'm go I've gone with T5 lighting and it's just really easy to install and use. And it's just for crabs and snails. I'm not growing any corals in here, so I'm not really gonna care. I just have to find a way to kind of shield it. So I've ordered some reflectors because I don't like seeing the, uh, the bulb like that. These are just regular T5, 39 watt bulbs, 36 inches long and then to attach them, I just use some silicone. I think you can see up in here, just some silicone attached to the wood. It's pretty good adhesion from aluminum to wood. I'm gonna run two of them. Oh, sorry for the camera work. I know it's shaky. People always tell me, stop moving the camera, but I'm gonna run two of them per row, two for six. So it's not gonna take up too much electricity. And it kind of looks like there's just one tank here, but if you've seen some of the other episodes, it's actually staggered. So there's one here in the back and then one in the front. In the next couple days, I'm going to create some baffles. So what I do is draw up stuff on the computer using Illustrator. And then a store here locally has a laser cutter. So we can make just about anything out of plexiglass. That being said, if you're here in the Toronto region and maybe you have some sort of design or something you want to build for your fish tank, feel free to come on by. I actually really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. Here's another little side project we have going on. The overflows were really ugly on this before. So I kind of just uh, took dimensions of the overflow section and got my guy to laser cut this one solid nice little piece that's going to uh, eventually hold an iPad so you can be in the store but then also see stuff on the screen for pricing and stuff like that. It's almost done. It's going to get some nice custom cut covers here to hide all of the ugly. I like stuff nice and clean. So if you have anything kind of in mind like that and you want to hand, I really, really um, enjoy doing that kind of stuff and I'd be happy to help you um, free of charge, draw it up on the computer and send you to the guy that has a laser. But I think this system is just about done. If you want to see how I construct the baffles and how I silicone them together, I can cover that in the next video. And that one will probably just wrap it up. It's going to see water. I think I did a good job on the plumbing. I took my time. I did make one mistake on the return side and it's a little wonky. You can kind of see on the bottom. I capped it over there. It was just really hard to connect. And then I ended up going all the way up until here. I think it's just going to give better even pressure distribution to the five different tanks. I'm going to set up a second pump also on the sump of this system. And then that's it. Turn on the lights, install the baffles, turn on the flow. Hopefully I did a good job on the plumbing. You know, usually there's a lot of elbows and bends. You know, there's maybe a hundred different spots to glue. If I get one leak, it's not, it's not the end of the world. I might have to go back in there and do it, but fingers crossed that it came out good and I'll wrap it all up, I think in the next video. And that's about it for today's video. But if you guys got any questions, I'll leave our contact info at the end. You can always get in touch with us with uh, email or feel free to visit our site. That's fragbox.ca. We're here in the Toronto region. Diggs, what do you think? Is that a wrap? Is that enough for today? Yeah, I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching guys this episode of Fragbox TV.